guys welcome back to my channel my name is sheila and if you are new welcome and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for subscribing for today's video it is going to be a vlog on um what i did today so today is thursday my official day off but i've been off for the past um two days so i got my next put on removed tuesday and i need well, I needed a couple of days off so that way my arm could heal. And so today I was able to do a couple of things. So I'm trying to kind of lay low a little bit so that way my arm can heal because I have to go back to work tomorrow. And so I did a couple of things today and so I wanted to vlog for it for you guys. Um, so I don't want this video to be too long. So let's just get on with today's video. So the first thing that I'm gonna do this morning is clean up this mess. So yesterday I made my own cash envelopes and I'm going to show you guys um, how I, I don't know if I'm going to show you completely how I did them, but I'm going to show you the results. Um, but yeah, I, I did some cash envelopes last night and I didn't clean So I'm going to be showing you the envelopes that I made on Canva. And I did get a new laminating machine. Um, this is from the brand Crenova. I got that on Amazon for $20, I believe. Um, and then... I got some laminating sheets also from Amazon that I went ahead and used up, but I got some more from Walmart and um, this is from their brand, the Pen and Gear. These are a lot more expensive um, than if you just go ahead and get them on Amazon. So I would recommend that you just buy everything on Amazon because it's cheaper. This is only 50 count and I don't remember. I think I also got the 50 count um, from Amazon and those were like seven dollars and I paid twelve dollars for these so you're paying double the price if you buy these at Walmart these as well as the other ones that I got are the three mil thickness um, I want to get the five mil but this is the only one that I, that they had at Walmart I also got this paper at Walmart it was around like six dollars and this is a glitter um, glitter paper I guess and so these are just scrap papers that I had left over that I'm saving in case I want to do some small envelopes. Um, but yeah, this is like a glitter pattern. This is my favorite and you'll see why in just a second. But yeah, I got all this stuff to make my own envelopes and I've just been playing around with Canva on like how to make them. So I got, I had this binder um, from a long time ago. This used to be my cash wallet years ago. I got this also on Amazon. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it and link it down below. But I decided um, to use this. So I actually had this in my closet. But as you guys know, I never get rid of stuff. Um, at least not like my arts and crafts things and little things like this i like to keep just in case one day i want to use it and um so i had this and so i decided to make this my uh, month ahead wallet so i do want to save for a month ahead so i did make some envelopes on canva so these that i made i'm gonna insert a clip of me kind of making them because i did record it um from my last vlog that I did not upload. But yeah, I made these. You can't really tell, but once I get the money out, I'm gonna take this money out. Um, these are like a floral pattern. This says house, because this is for my uh, mortgage payment that I wanna save up for. Um, I have ones for subscriptions. Um, I do have two credit cards that I use sometimes um, for gas and like groceries that I can always pay back. And um, I'm not sure if you can see, but this is like a floral pattern. And it's got um, like a red outline to the lettering. Why I did this pattern was because I wanted something that was see-through. Um, and I wanted something that was like whole so that way it could guide me on where I needed to cut. So these are the first ones that I made. So these I want to be the month ahead bills that i want to stuff um, a little bit out of time so that way i want to have something besides my emergency fund and my regular savings i want to have at least one month worth of bills in here in case something happens so i made these um and then these are the ones that um i made yesterday so 
this are my sinking funds so these are the bills that i pay once a year or like this one i pay every six months so this is my car insurance one that i made and then i made um each little box $75 because I do have to put in here $75 every two weeks. I want to do $150 a month um, so that I that way I can have um, the six months worth to pay when it's due and then my insurance is due the first uh, six months and then my husband's insurance is due the uh, last six months so that way we can have the insurance money saved up and as you can see with this one I did the outline and then I used the glitter um, paper, the glitter background. I'm not sure if you can really tell on camera, but it, I did use the white glitter background around the um, edges. So I have uh, insurance. I did do another one for Amazon Prime. So I'm gonna put $15 a month on this one because um, this is a yearly subscription. And then car tags, I wanna make sure that I put enough money away for my car tags each year so that way when the time is due, I have the money. Again, I use the white glittery and I like the white one because you can see the numbers and everything so much better. But yeah, I made these on Canva. I did one for HOA. Um, I do have an HOA fee that we have to pay every year. So this, I'm gonna be doing $30 a month. So this is gonna be my bill binder. So I'm gonna do my one month ahead, my, sub, my um, yearly subscriptions, yearly payments, things like that. So this is gonna be my bill envelope. And then I think I had showed you guys this one. This is where I was gonna keep like my challenges and stuff like that. Um, so in my emergency fund, so I did decide to make my envelope so so this is where i use the blue colored glitter paper so this is my emergency fund i did put 125 dollars in here um when i cashed my coins that you guys saw and then i added um i think 80 more dollars to this i still have not cashed in my other coins so i still have those at home so that's like another hundred dollars that are going to go in here that i need to take to the bank but yeah i made these these are super cute i am so in love with these um i'm planning on making more um i'm like coming up with new like envelope ideas but then i'm gonna need the money because there's no way i'm gonna be able to fund everything but at least i want to fund some things each time so i do have emergency fund i made one for birthdays um this one i'm gonna be trying to we have extra money put 125 dollars a month for this one um i did one for christmas and i decorated it like with christmas stuff this one is 175 i think this is for like 2000 by the end of the year um i do have some money in the bank um for this one but i think i'm gonna keep it in there and then just start new um, with this one so I did one for vacation isn't this so cute this vacation one so we usually go to the beach um, but that's why I went like beach thin with the, um, this one so I have like a little palm tree a little bikini a little coconut drink and then the sunglasses this one has $250 a month so I these um, I guess uh numbers are kind of big i'm not gonna be stuffing them each month it's just um just like extra if i have any extra money that can go towards these i'm gonna be stuffing these um this is a goal of mine and this is for a new car so i've had my car for a while um i just got it fixed as some of you guys saw a couple of vlogs back i, I had it fixed um but i want one in the future so this is for a th this is a three year plan so this is for three hundred dollars that i can be stuffing in here if i can i'm gonna try to do the best i can to stuff it like every once in a while but at least start i mean I, you have to start somewhere and so i wanted to start a new fund so I did this one so it's 36 months for three years and it's 300 dollars a month or whenever i can start um, building that um i moved my one dollar challenge here instead of the little paper one that i've been filling in i did one this is for 55 dollars instead of 60 um but yeah i went ahead and filled it up as you guys can see and this is my five dollar challenge that i want to do so I did um, the $5 challenge. So there's 
A couple of more that I have to do, but this is more of my other sinking funds. Like, um, this is more like high, this is like high priority. This is what I have to put in there, money that I have to keep in there. And then this is like if I have extra money, um, we are going to be putting in our sinking fund. So yeah, and then these are the only three um, or two that I have. And then I have this one, which is my um, monthly one. This is where my grocery money goes, gas, um, stuff like that. So I got these envelopes on Amazon. I wouldn't recommend these just because these are kind of stiff. You can't really put your money in there. It's hard to put your money in there, but um, they're cute because they have tabs. I'm not sure if you can see, but they have tabs on them. So that's why I wanted to get them because of the tabs. But to be honest, they're so stiff. It's hard to put your dollars in there. And so I'm thinking about making some more envelopes that kind of look like this um, and um, keep them in here and get rid of these. I think I'm gonna give these to my mom. She's wanting to do her own little envelope. So I might give um, those envelopes to my mom and then just make my own unless she wants me to make her some. But yeah, these are my three, um, I guess envelopes, uh, cash saving envelopes that I'm go going to be using. And so yeah, that is the stuff that I used. I also got this um, corner uh, stapler. I mean, what is this? Corner cutter. And that is to round the, um, that is to round the edges of the envelope so they're not like hard. And I'm gonna be showing you guys in the future, but I also got a new wallet um, and I made my own envelopes for my wallet and it's a small wallet. I'm gonna be showing you guys that in a future video. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys how I've been or what I've been doing um, yesterday when I was not supposed, we're not supposed to be resting and I didn't rest. I'm gonna put this money back in the, um, this is $250 that I put in the home binder already. Um, so I'm gonna be putting that in this. And how cute are these? These are transparent. I'm just in love with these little binders that I made. They're so easy to make and so I just decided to make my own. That way I don't have to be paying a whole bunch of money um, to do them. But yeah, these are like super cute and um, I'm planning on making more. Okay, so this is my makeup desk and I need to clean it off. I wanna get rid of some makeup um, and just organize everything because I have some makeup that is old and expired. So I wanna get rid of some of it and just talk about a little bit about each product. Start off with foundation. So I do have the Matte and Poreless. This is the shade 125. I also have the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation. I love this, but it's too light for me at the moment. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna get rid of this one since I fell in love with this one, and this one is too dark. Um, and I've had this for a while now because I was using the 120 shade, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I have an extra one of these in um, the makeup that I coupon, so I have an extra one of those, And but that one's just old because I opened it a while ago. Um, I wanna get rid of this Revlon Candid Concealer. This is in the shade Banana. This is just too light for me. Um, it works really, really well. I actually like this concealer line or this uh, makeup line, the Candid by Revlon, um, but yeah, this is too light for me and it's just not, you know, it's just cluttering. Um, and then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is too dark, this is in the shade uh, 20 Sand. This is too dark for me and so I'm gonna get rid of it. I got this couponing so I didn't pay that much for it so I, and I don't have anyone that can use it or wants to use it because it's been used and open. I'm gonna get rid of this Neutrogena Concealer. This is the Radiant Cream Concealer. Um, I've used this up. This is the one that I actually like. And this is the one that I talked about in my foundation video about how it worked really fine until you get to the very end and it starts drying up. 
um, but I would definitely repurchase this. It's very hydrating. This is the shade Bisque Light Medium. This is actually, it was a tad bit uh, too dark for me, but I still used it. I have this one by Revlon and I just opened this. I got this couponing. This is light medium. It's a little bit dark, but keep it just in case. Like if I get darker or tanner, I can use this one. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have another one of the Revlon Candid Concealer. This is in the shade light. I'm gonna keep this one. And then I have this concealer by Physicians Formula. I have not used this. This is a corrector. Um, and then this is the concealer. It's too pink for me. This is in the shade Yellow Light. Um, and it's a dual sided, I guess, concealer. This is too orangey for me and this is too pink for me. And to be honest, this is very um, sheer. So I did not like it. It's um, as you can, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of very sheer. It goes, you can see, kind of through the skin. So it didn't have a lot of coverage when I did try it out. So I didn't really like this. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this. This one by Maybelline. This is the H Rewind. I love, 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 love this. But this is too dark. This is in the shade medium medium what just I think just medium and I have used um, some of it but I'm not gonna finish it because it's too dark so I'm gonna be getting rid of that one I have this one by Revlon this is the Revlon color stay skin awaken I actually like this concealer it's high coverage um, but it's too light so this is the color light pale and so it's too light for me. I got this couponing at a very good price. Keep this in case I wanna blend these two together and kind of get my shade. So I think I'm gonna keep these. I have this foundation. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's too light for me at the moment, but this is still gonna be good for winter time when I'm a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep my Revlon and i'm gonna keep the new one that i have the l'oreal concealer that i talked about in my um, last video it is too light for me but i'm gonna keep it just in case i need to use it i have this maybelline matte and poreless i talked about this a long time ago about how i didn't really like it i wanted to try it out again since i had an extra one in my couponing things still don't like it so i'm gonna get rid of this and I haven't talked about this, but this is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine micro micro Setting Spray. I love this spray. I actually want to get the hydrating one, the coconut one. Um, but yeah, I've used this um, up quite a little bit already. And I love this to set my makeup. I do feel like my makeup lasts a little bit longer using this. So I'm going to keep this. Okay, I've had this tart blush for a long, long time. This is what this was actually like a freebie product, and this is in the shade Party, and it's actually really pretty. It's like this nude type of color. I've had this for years. I'm gonna get rid of this because it's old. I have this um Maybelline, not Maybelline, um, Alme blush. I got this not too long ago. Um, this is the shade Hill. Uh, healthy hue blush I'm guessing that's the shade I like it very summery orangey color so I'm gonna keep this one I'm gonna keep my physicians formula butter bronzer I bought this cuz I've had my hula bronzer for a long time and this has been loved and used so I wanted to get something different and I've heard nothing but great things about this one I'm gonna keep both because I just cannot get rid of this this is like my favorite bronzer so i'm gonna keep that i'm gonna get rid of this um revlon blush and this is in the shade apri apri cute it's too um a little bit too dark for me this will look so pretty on darker skin complexions it's so pretty but it's just too dark for me um and it's very pigmented so i'm gonna get rid of this blush and then I have this Laura Geller um, highlighter that I've had for years. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it because it's old and this is the Gilded Honey. I remember when everyone used to talk about this all the time. Um, and I think I got it at TJ Maxx and it's actually very pretty, very um, glowy. 
but I've had it for too long and it's a little bit too gold and I don't really wear highlighter anymore like I used to. If I need a highlighter, I actually have a face palette. This is by Morphe XM Many MUA and I have two of the um, highlighters here that I like to use. Just um, So I don't really need that one because I have these two and I love this palette. As you can see, it's been loved and used. It's my like go-to everyday palette. So I'm gonna keep this one because of the highlighters too. Um, and then I have my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I'm gonna keep this one. I have this Revlon Color Stay. This is too light for me at the moment, but this is gonna work uh, great during winter time when I'm a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then I have this blush by Too Faced. This is in the shade Justify My Love. Um, this is a very pinkish blush. I'm gonna keep this one um, because I don't really have a lot of pink ones, so I'm gonna keep this blush and i got this container at aldi's this is actually a um what is this this is like to organize your kitchen it still has the little um thing on there that i haven't taken it off i got this um a while back ago but i think they were like 10 8 to 10 dollars at aldi's and it fits perfect in my desk area um so this is how i have it organized it has like three sections so i have one section here one section there and then one section here and then these plastic bins i got at dollar tree so this is my lip section um i'm gonna keep this jeffree star i got this recently i like it. it's very hydrating I'm gonna get rid of this. This is by Joa Cosmetics. This is a line that they sell at CVS. I like this color. It's like a, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a purplish, dark mauve color. And so I've had this for a long time and I have other colors that I can use. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I'm gonna keep this Revlon um, lipstick. Ugh. This is like a brick color. I love this. This is one of my favorite shades. Um, this is in the shade Kiss Me Coral. I love this during fall time. It's one of my favorite go-to lipsticks. I'm going to get rid of this Alme Goddess Gloss. This is like a pinkish, chromish, orangey color. I'm going to get rid of it because it looks kind of weird on my lips and I don't like it. Look, I have a brand new um, lip balm from... Revlon, I get this um, really cheap couponing. I have another one that I use that I also keep in here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this Color Stay Satin Ink. It's too red for me and too bright, but it's actually really pretty. Um, if you like these types of shades, this is very glossy. Um, and this is in the shade, what shade is this? 015 Fire and Ice. So I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna get rid of it. I have this very dark plum color and this is by Maybelline. I get all of these lipsticks couponing at a really good price. I'm gonna keep this because this is very pretty for fall. Um, as you can kind of see, I love fall and so that's like my favorite season. So I'm gonna keep this. Um, I have, I don't have that many lip liners but the ones that I have, I'm gonna keep. Both of these are from Revlon. I'm gonna get rid of this CoverGirl um, Melting Pout Vinyl um, Lip Gloss and it's a pinkish color. I don't really like pinkish colors. I thought this was more of like a darker burgundy color but I'm gonna get rid of this just because I don't, I don't like it. So, and I've used it a couple of times, not like I'm getting rid of something. I'm gonna get rid of this Clarins um, Lip Oil. I love this but I've had it a long time. Oh. That's a goner. Had it for a long time. I, ha I got it as a freebie product. Um, I'm gonna keep all of my lip balms. I have another um, lip liner. And I'm gonna get rid of this of Superstay 24 hour lip color. I've had this a long time. Um, again, I don't, I look at these colors and I think I'm gonna like them. And then once I apply them, um, don't even use it. But this is like a, um, what shade would this be? It's also like a pinkish color, so I'm gonna get rid of that. 
I'm gonna keep um, these. This is crazy for coffee. This is also a um, lipstick that I wear during fall. These are my favorite lip uh, lipsticks from Maybelline. As you can tell, I have quite a couple of these. This is actually one of my favorite shades. It's very nude, very sheer, and this is nearly there. I love this. This is this kind of looks like a gloss when you apply it. Again, one of my favorite lipstick lines. Um, this one by Milani, uh, my favorite. Like I've used it quite a little bit. This is in the shade um, Naturally Chic. And I like these colors, more of the nudish, brownish, um, reddish color. Those are my favorite. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is, no, not this one. Um, which one was it? Oh, not this one. I had a CoverGirl lipstick that is like pink. Oh, not this one. I think I already threw it away, but I'm gonna keep all of these CoverGirl lipsticks. Um, these are also on the pink side, but these are more wearable. So this is the shade, I don't even know what shade this is. Oh, they have numbers. So this is 30, this is 15. Uh, this is like a, I'm actually gonna keep this out because I haven't worn this and this is like a nice orangey shade. I'm trying to see if it can focus. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. And then this is the perfect pinkish nudish, um, not nudish, but like a, I don't know. It's like a pink color, but it's a wearable pink that I can wear. So, and I've actually used it because um, you can kind of see the little dent in it. So I've used this one before. Um, uh, this is like my favorite. Um, this is by Revlon. This is in the shade Toast of New York. I love these brick colors. I don't know. I just feel like they go really well with my complexion. Um, it's so pretty. So I'm going to keep this one. Um, I have this one also by Milani. And this is in Bahama Beige. This is too beige for me, but I'm going to keep it. It's like a nude color. So pretty, but I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this cover girl. This is a very nude color that makes me look sick, so I'm not gonna keep that one. This is the cover girl uh, melting pot, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna get rid of this lip gloss by Revlon. This is the super lustrous gloss. Um, uh, I don't know, it kinda smells weird already. I've had this for a long time. I used it um it looks new but um it's been used and loved so i'm gonna get rid of that kind of old already i'm gonna get rid of this lip balm because um the cap is broken and um i already have an, uh, other lip balms that i can use and this is teddy bear this is also one of my favorites from milani for fall it's so pretty kind of did kind of focus a little bit it's like a brownish, it's trying to focus on the over here. It's like a brownish um, shade. Very, very pretty for fall. Look, that is so pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one. And these are very um, glossy, very hydrating. Highly recommend these. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna keep this one. This is like a purplish, color from Maybelline. I might keep it for fall because it's like a purple color. You see that? I'm not sure. I might keep this for fall like October time when I'm trying to be all gothy for like Halloween. So I'm going to keep that. Um, this is from a lip liner I believe. This is like trash. I don't know what it's doing there. But I'm going to keep just a couple of lipsticks that I actually do wear. And um, Milani blush, this is my favorite summer blush. I've had this for a couple of years already and I use it every single year. Um, I still haven't hit pan and it still has the little oval shape to it even though I use it almost every day. My Almay powder, this is my go-to um, face powder for right now, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, and then on the other side, I have my eye stuff. I think I'm gonna leave that for next time. 
because I don't want this to be super long. I just got this concealer that I talked about in my foundation, the Maybelline foundation review. I talked about this e.l.f. concealer. This is medium to high coverage, hydrating, um, very good staying power. Highly recommend it. Does not crease. Um, I for the price, very well worth it. And this is in the shade light sand. Um, so I'm gonna keep that. And then I also have this um, lip crayon thing that I had that I always uh, that I've been recently using a lot. And this is the Revlon Color Stay Matte Light Crayon. I love this color. Um, what color is this? This is my go-to Deuce Bryce. Thre oh no, this is uh, Thread Lightly. So this is more of like an orangey type of shade crayon, as you can see right here. It is like one of my go-to colors right now. You see that orangey color? It's so pretty. Um, it goes on matte. Um, but I like it. I like it with the lip liner, Sienna lip liner. These are like my favorite to combo from um, Revlon Color Stay Line. So highly recommend these. So that's all that I'm gonna be doing right now. I'll leave my eye stuff and eye palettes for um, my next vlog, I guess. I don't want this to be super long. Um, but yeah, and I have my Bliss SPF that I talk about. I keep it in my foundation little drawer. So that is going to be it for this section. Next section, I will wait for the next vlog. So I'm going to end the video here. I still have a couple of things to do. But to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to get those done today because my arm is starting to hurt. And I need my arm to be 100% by tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I already missed um, two days and then today's my day off. So I've been off work for three days um, I'm gonna edit uh, this vlog and Then hopefully I will also edit the other video the other video that I filmed and Uploading those so be on the lookout if you like these types of videos Don't forget to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up and hopefully I will see you in my next one Bye can't really move my hand. Bye Tell I go, your girl, you like him Don't leave with any regrets Take a trip to London or LA Make memories, make friends Every day can